All right, guys, it's Enrique here. Welcome back to the channel. What you are going to learn in this video is going to be most importantly, what is a BSL funnel, how and why you should have one for your online business, and some bonus tips and best practices that you can use in order to actually get the goal of the BSL funnel, which is ultimately going to be either make a sale or make your leads book a call with you. That being said, let's hop to the computer and let's get started with today's video. All right, guys, so as you can see, a video sales funnel is just a typical sales letter that incorporates video with the goal of selling your product or service, right? Now, I'll be 100% transparent with you guys. The biggest goal that you have with the BSL funnel is going to be making the viewer take a certain action. And that action typically is booking a call or making a sale. The number one reason why you need to use a BSL funnel as a companionship to your outreach lead generation process is that you're able to quickly nurture and convert your cold traffic into people that actually know you and your offer more, way more in depth. Of course, video is one of the best ways to build rapport and to actually showcase personality whenever you're trying to reach out a broader audience. But that being said, I wanted to, to showcase some other reasons why you might benefit from using this specific funnel in the forefront of your business. You're able to earn the trust of your agency's leads. You're able to increase conversion rates for your marketing agency. You're going to be able to explain or do a demo of your product with more detail. So for example, if you have a SaaS or even if you have some sort of physical product type of business, you can greatly benefit from having a BSL simply showcasing how other people have used your product, how you use your product, some things that maybe are not so not so common in, in, in your in your market so that you can actually showcase and do demonstrations of how you do things if you actually create a really compelling bsl what is going to happen is that you're going to stand out from your competition because you're able to actually showcase your unique mechanism your vehicles the way you deliver results you're going to be able to warm up your social media marketing agency's leads right so hopefully by this point, you're convinced that applying a BSL funnel for your agency is going to be a smart thing to do, right? And it's even going to be more beneficial if, you are, if you're either doing cold email marketing or if you're using some sort of paid traffic to funnel type of process, because you're going to be able to grab those website visitors and convert them into actual people that know who you are and know your offer. By the way, guys, just a quick announcement. These documents, as well as all of the other documents that I use on my YouTube channel, you can access completely for free by joining our newsletter. I will leave a link in the first comment down there. So feel free to reach out or feel free to grab this one if you like to. But that being said, let's go over how to apply this for your agency, right? So now that you know what it is and why you should have one, Let's just start talking about how to create a video sales letter, right? Typically, we recommend that marketing agents use BSLs on their offer page, aka the page where you explain your service, your process, and your mechanism in order to deliver a specific result that your ideal customer is interested in buying, right? Why in this page, by the way? Because if you are having your BSL in your homepage or you have your BSL in your blog, what is going to happen is that people are not going to actually see it. So you either, embed your BSL in your homepage and that's your offer page or you have your homepage and your offer page a separate window and then if you do that you want to forward your burner domains to the offer page not to the homepage let me just give you an example of how we do it at um, font scaling so that you can see right if you take a look at our business page we actually have well this is our homepage right our homepage is just a simple landing page that explains who we are what we do and our two offers right so don't forget scaling and expert school what we do as part of our outreach campaigns is actually forward our burner domains to our main offer page, which is done for you scaling, right? So what is going to happen that you can see over here that we have a entitling type of headline that signals who we are, what we do, who we're trying to call out and then boom, our You're BSL. About you get the point, right? And then the call to action to book a call. Then we have more detailed information over here, but you get the point. This is our offer page. We recommend that you use your BSL inside of your offer pages, okay? What you need to know in order to create your BSL, guys. The first thing that you're going to need, you're going to, need to know is understanding who your ideal client is, right? Because if you don't know who your ideal client is, it's impossible for you to actually create a messaging that is going to resonate with them, right? Let me show you an example, right? So you can see here that we say, scale your marketing agency and have on-demand sales meetings with your ideal customer. So guess what's going to happen if you are a marketing agency? What is going to happen is that you're going to go like, wow, this is for me. I want to see this video. That's step number one. Step number two, you need to understand what are your ideal client's main struggles or problems so that you can position your agency as their guide. Of course, we have done 
really in-depth market research and we know that for an absolute fact, our clients want two things, to have more qualified calls in their calendar and ultimately close those leads, transform them into paying customers, right? What are we saying? On-demand sales meetings with your ideal customers. And, and once people start seeing our BSL, they're going to know our exact process for having more qualified calls, but also to close them with confidence because we provide the sales coaching and what we call our microwave funnel that allows them to actually go to a 33% closing rate. So that's just something that comes from confidence and actually knowing our target audience. The third thing that you're going to need to have in order to make sure that your BSL funnel works effectively is going to be having an actual process or mechanism that you use in order to solve this problem for your ICP. Or, by the way, guys, this is a huge thing that nobody talks about, but I feel that it's worth mentioning right here for this video. And it is that there is going to be bonus points if your process is way different to everything that exists already in the marketplace. So let's say that nobody has ever heard about using, for example, Facebook groups in order to land agency clients. And you actually talk about a new Facebook group strategy to close high ticket deals for marketing agencies. And you as a marketing agency, you see the VSL, you're going to go like, wow, yeah, the main reason why I have never been able to get results on my agency, for example, or not the resources that I've been wanting is because of this new Facebook group strategy system that this guy is just selling me. That's the thing that is going to click and boom, that's how you create great marketing, right? Now, that being said, guys, here's the frame that you should use when you record your BSL funnels. Just five steps, right? So it's going to be the introduction, what you do, who you do it for, how you do it, and last but not least, how they can find out more about this process, right? Typically, BSLs start by saying, so in the next five to six minutes, I will be telling you how to get on-demand sales meetings with your ideal customers. So if you're a marketing agency owner, keep watching. Of course, I'm using mine as an example, but let's say that you're targeting e-commerce stores and you're helping them with email marketing, for example. You could say, in the next five minutes, I will be telling you how to improve by 15% the revenue of your store. So if you are a Google rebrand, keep watching. Of course, you need to have your niche, etc. But you get the, then you want you want to start talking about what is the problem that you solve for these companies. Are you helping them, for example, have more calls? Are you helping them make more money? Are you make, helping them improve the the systems they use in order to get results? You want to actually showcase what is the thing that you do for them? Then you want to start talking about who you do it for. So of course, this who you do it for is your ideal customer. So you want to actually call them out. Then you want to talk about how you do it. And this is the most important part. If it's, if possible, try to break down steps, stages, um, try, try to actually showcase in the most realistic way possible, how you deliver results so that they can actually understand the entire process. And from there, they are actually going to feel more tangibility in the, in the, in the offer, right? You want to spark their interest by talking about your methods. Say that you're using TikTok ads, Facebook groups, and YouTube. So what you're going to say is like, in the stage one, in, on stage one, we're going to do some market research so that we can create niche specific YouTube content. Once we have the, that niche specific YouTube content, we're going to repurpose the hard hitting videos you created and put them on TikTok so that you gain massive traffic. And once we finish getting those ma ma massive traffic, we are going to redirect all of this to your Facebook group funnel so that you actually end up having an ecosystem of client acquisition. Of course, that's something that I came up with, but you always want to showcase your stages, your mechanisms, your pillars in such a way that it makes sense and that actually compels people to understand what you're doing for them, right? You want to be clear and you want to talk about the stages and overall key principles, but without revealing too much. You want to talk about the overall pillars, but you don't want to talk how to actually those, do those things because that's what your offer is going to solve for them, right? And last but not least, how they can find out more. And basically, you are going to have your call to action over here, right? If you're selling something more high ticket, the call to action is going to simply be book a call so that we can discuss more in depth. If you are having a lower ticket thing or if you have way too much credibility or whatever, uh, you can actually just make the call to action to be to close a deal from you. But typically it's going to be booking a call. Otherwise, you will be running some sort of webinar, etc. Right now, if you want a detailed example on how to create your BSL funnel, take a look at ours and you can just come here to fondscaling.com slash BSL. And this is our BSL fund. Like literally, this is the one that we actually use. So you can model after that. Last but not least, I want to start talking about our best tips to create winning video sales letters for marketing agencies, okay? And the first thing that I wanted to mention is that you want to keep your BSL short and direct to the point. Remember, if you have a 20, 30 minute BSL, that's going to, first of all, nobody's going to watch it, to be honest. And number two, 
you're just wasting your time because people are not going to actually get to the needing greedy stuff at the end, which is what you want them to see so that they are inclined to book a call. So keep your BSL short and direct to the point. Like at the absolute most, it should be 10 minutes long. You want to add case stories and testimonials to your BSL funnel so that people actually see that you know what you're talking about, that you have been there and done that so that they are more inclined to actually take action towards your call to action at the end. And listen, this is one of those things that nobody talks about, but I think that it's going to be really, really valuable if you start applying. You want to create something that makes people click the video or set your video to automatically play when the people visit your page. Let me give you an example, right? So if you go to our BSL funnel page where we have our offer, you are going to see this thing that says how to add plus eight qualified sales goals every month to your calendar and get us 33% close rate. And then there is like this week one, week two, week three, week four, week four. It's like, there is a process. You're like, wow, man, I want to know what that is, right? And once you're there, boom, you're, want, you're going to want to click, right? Of course, there's nothing playing here because this is a, a, an image. But if you go to the BSL funnel, you are going to get something like this. And you're going to be, wow, man, I'm interested in seeing this. And then you're going to click, boom. And you're going to start seeing the, the BSL, right? Uh, of course, I muted it before, so that's why it's not here. Conclusion. How to add a BSL funnel to your marketing agency. Guys, listen, BSL funnels are not meant to be hard. And the more you procrastinate on this, you're going to lose a lot of money and time just trying to be the perfect, trying to create the perfect thing for your agency, right? So don't overcomplicate it, guys. For the longest time, our BSL funnel was actually me reading a Google Doc like this one. So make sure that you actually just take action and start with something, something simple, right? That's the most important thing to do. And guys, at the end of the day, like if you are doing some any sort of cold outreach, if you're trying to book more calls, having a BSL is going to definitely help you out a lot. Again, this is just the general, general guidelines. Feel, feel free to visit our BSL funnel page so that you can actually see how to apply this for your own marketing agency. And last but not least, uh, just some call to actions. <laughs> of course, if you are a marketing agency and you want done for you help in scaling your business, book a call with us. We'll be glad to have a 10, 15 minute chat to see whether or not we are a good fit or not. And last but not least, if you want to actually just get started into the agency space, feel free to join Expert School over here. You're going to get group support and you're going to have accountability team so that you can actually start your marketing agency profitably, right? That being said, guys, I hope that you found this video valuable and see you guys in the next one.